You have the brutish heart of a warrior, little one. Wow. Same, same, big sister. What is up, Misfits? Yes, I am working with Miko. Turns out I actually like Miko. Turns out I like everyone except Maeve in this game. Wouldn't you know it? Anyway, so this is actually my first match with Miko in a very long time. And to be honest, the only reason why I chose her is because I confused her name with Meko for my daily challenge. But as I think about it, I've played with Meko like once or twice and it was not pretty. I can tell you that much right now. Alright, so we are going to get this game started and the power cells are right in the middle of the train tracks. There are six of them. And I do usually like that, but it will either be a... Okay, good thing my team's here. Either I'll get all six or I'll grab like two and I have to immediately get into a fight. So this gizmo's gonna come up here. She's probably gonna leave. Ooh, she's gonna get some damage though. Gave her a little bit of a knockdown. Collection phase complete. I actually am gonna go back up and get that power cell. I don't think Gizmo noticed it. Yeah, it's still sitting there. So we defeated their Gizmo on the opposite team. And his name is Iris Monkey. I think I've teamed up with him in a few matches before. It's very common for me to see people that I've played with in Bleeding Edge. And maybe that's because the community is small, but that says something good to me about the game. Anyway, gonna avoid those trains as much as possible. If you saw my last video, you saw that I got wrecked by a train at the very end with Damon and ended up losing the game completely. Promise that won't happen again. So, I'm gonna practice my swings on this gizmo, but Maeve decided to jump in, which is totally fine. Truth be told, I'm actually a little happy that I've spent some time practicing with Miko prior to this game. I'm gonna heal myself back up. Yeah, there we go. And go right back in on Gizmo, who's probably gonna die. Yep, nice. Gizmo versus Gizmo, you gotta love it. Anyway, this team is trying to score. There's no way we're gonna let that happen. Wow, that may have got wiped. That may have got wiped. Not sure why my free stasis actually didn't miss. Maybe it was out of range or it went past the wall. But the good news is we collected all of those power cells and we're about to score. Wow, we scored just before Gizmo's bomb hit. So they decided to switch one of their characters off to zero, which is fine. Maeve's gonna come in with her spirit bomb. Jeez, that gizmo was so dead, it's not even funny. And I had to get out of there for a second. What I will say about Miko, her dashes are a little bit faster. They seem like they actually dodge projectiles as well. So, there are six power cells left, and... We're about to go for him more than likely. Well, actually, I can see Damon's working the ones at the bottom, and these guys are going for the ones at the top. So I'm going to try to distract myself against this Miko. I actually, I actually practiced... Oh god, oh god. Okay, I dodged it. I actually practiced how to parry Miko. There are three different ways that you can parry her basic attack. Her basic attack that combos in. I didn't do it during this game because I didn't get an opportunity, but best believe in the future I'll show off some of those parries against her. Anyway, Zero and Maeve are over here picking on me, and surprisingly I did not get caught in the cage with my life siphoned. Now I could have gone for that power up, but I decided not to, since this is my first time with Miko. I don't know what she's actually capable of in terms of her damage, so I'd rather get used to understanding what her basic damage percentage is. And Maeve is so low on health. I didn't mean to give it to Gizmo, but as you can see, it it worked somehow. There we go. If I haven't said it before, Leprechaun Maeve is one of the best skins for her. It's really good. 
Anyway, it is 23 to 11, and we are holding only to four power cells. I, I wouldn't say that this is a noobish game, but based on how the other team has been coming at me, I don't have a- wow, that gizmo is so dead. So it's like, I don't know. It seems like we're wiping these guys out pretty fast. Granted, that may have just disappeared, but it feels like I'm going up against a few novice players who aren't that good. Which is good because I'm going up against, well, I'm doing my first Miko. Sorry, words are hard to say sometimes. And again, Iris Monkey decided to leave. Not sure if he and I are allies or rebels in this game, but... Ah, uh, I really wish you guys would stop leaving matches. It makes it so less fun, you have no idea. Anyway, we're gonna 4v3 these guys. And so far in this game, I haven't had a reason to use my alt yet, at least for my teammates. Whoo, nice spirit bomb, Maeve. I'm gonna get this Maeve in the corner. She's dead. She is so dead. Zero's coming up next. He is dead. I don't know if it, I don't know if I'm liking the character or if I'm liking the team, but this game feels really, really comfortable to be honest. Maybe it is my practice with Damon that is bringing me this far who knows anyway the objective is on C and we're holding on to 12 power cells I'm gonna just drop down I'm gonna drop down and I'm not gonna risk getting hit by that train because like I said I learned a valuable lesson about trains in my last video trying to pick up this power cell there we go Wow, I did that stasis freeze at just the right time. Me and Damon wrecked that Maeve. At this point, it's almost a team wipe. So far, this is going to be it. Yep, I got nine. Not the easiest game that I've ever done, but it only felt easy because I've been, I've been playing with a different character lately. So far, I haven't played with Kulov in about a week, I'd say. And it's been fairly good getting familiar with other characters. Except for Maeve. Because I don't want to cheat people. Alright, and this next match is Aqueducts doing Power Collection. If I'm correct, this one is a win as well. Well, let's be honest. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't a win. If I had a terrible loss with Miko, I would not upload it. If it wasn't valuable, at least. But, so far, Miko, uh, I wouldn't say she was the weakest person when I first played with her, but she felt pretty weak. And I'm thinking that because of my experience playing with Damon as well as a few other characters... Let's tear it up. Don't worry, I don't choose Damon. I switched to Miko. Because of Damon, however, I feel like I've gotten a better Some understanding of how to actually play with the melee character versus range and not to mention she is support and you know I love playing with Kulov so it's a little bit of both worlds both worlds for me Power collection starting soon. your weapons are for looking for players I hope you are trained in their proper use don't you worry about me honey you keep me up I'm beating them down <laughs> like I said before I love the interactions in this game pre-match they're really really good they're well thought out so before the match started, someone had an idea that Buttercup should pull someone while I freeze them, more than likely. That's kind of the whole, that's kind of the whole Sabang combo that I've seen. And the thing is, we don't have Maeve on our team, what it would have been is, Buttercup grabs them, I freeze them, and the very second that they get out of that freeze, Maeve drops a cage on them. That is the ultimate combo in my opinion. And yes, I've seen it done multiple times. <laughs> Alright, so we're done waiting for another player and the game is finally about to start. Now more than likely I'm going to head to the right. 
because power cells always seem to there's always more to this right side than the left every time I play aqueducts at least complete. that was a weird little glitch with the power cells not showing up but it's totally fine alright so Cass is carrying three I've got two Nid's got three did they grab any? Oh, they have six. Okay. Buttercup's ready. I'm about to roll in with her. As soon as it gets past the gate, I'm more than likely going to hop in. Just going to wait for my team a little bit. Let's start. So far, so good. They're almost afraid to... Oh, I missed the opportunity. They were... Uh, it seemed like they were afraid to actually go for the objective, but I honestly forgot about the electric fence. I actually haven't been hit by that in a very long time. Luckily, it's only 8-7 to seven and Nid just scored. Luckily, someone saw my mistake, so they actually picked that back up. And I am definitely going to shoot to this right side and I'm going to get in there. The good thing about this is that now that I don't have cells, I can actually get really, really aggressive. And Buttercup's over there to my left. I'm going to team up with her more than likely because Cass... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Cass had an ultimate, but it almost kind of sort of killed me. Luckily, she hit the electric fence and she wasn't paying attention. Zero and Maeve. This is not good right now. Because I already dislike Maeve with a passion. And it's very lucky that I'm able to heal myself. Because otherwise, this would not go well. Not gonna lie, I'm really liking the ability to heal myself on the fly just like that. So, Zero's over here, and I'm gonna probably... Yep, let's go. He's gonna run away from me, and me and Cass are gonna follow up on him. I think we get this guy killed? Oh, uh, never mind. I had to focus on Maeve. That Zero is dead, and Maeve has five power cells. More than likely, we are gonna go for that. Yep. Like I said, I don't know if it's the team that I'm with or the team that I'm going up against, but this match feels very comfortable, especially considering that I'm not that well-rounded with Miko. So I'm going to let whoever get that power-up. More than likely, I'm going to give it to Cass. Cass with a power-up. I'm pretty sure you Cass players know about her with the power-up. She gets crazy good. So Cass is over here waiting on me to run in. But Nid is over here going for 12 and oh my god the entire team just died. The fact that I left that battle and three people, I wish I could see that. I wish I could have saw how that happened. The fact that I left and three people on the opposing team died and I didn't have to be there to help. Something tells me that Buttercup was going in just now. Anyway, we're going to collect the rest of these power-ups. And as you can see, this is going to be a fairly easy win to go off of. I can tell that's definitely Zero. Not sure why he's trying to test me. And someone decided to switch to Makatu, which is fine. Right now, I gotta get out of here. I gotta heal. Granted, their team is gonna lose their cast. But I gotta disappear for a little bit. I'm not sure when, but I think I used all here. Whoa, that was a spirit bomb. Trying to kill this Miko. Everyone else is focusing on her. Yes. Take 
So we have 12. Honestly, I believe the next time we get a chance to score, it's gonna be it. Yes, VPAB. This was very easy. Surprisingly easy, to be honest. <laughs> So this is the only hand in point. Let's do this. Nid came in with his ult. I had to freeze Makatu. Oh my god, that team is dead. I honestly didn't even see how all that happened. If he, dude, he altered them. Oh my god, dude. And I'm pretty sure you can imagine that that is it, since we have 14 power cells. GG's all around. That was a fairly easy game, but I want to say it wasn't anything to do with my... Maybe it was my team? Who knows? Maybe I was going up against a bunch of noobs? Let's see. 3 and 4, 3s and 4s... Yeah, not a lot of high percentages going on. That nid was going in. Abba Zabba, I don't know who you are, but jeez, man. That was amazing. But yeah, so far, after me practicing with Damon, I think I might start going to Miko, because she seems fun. Being able to heal myself on the fly instead of having to run around for health all the time and depend on healers is a lot more fun, in my opinion. I don't feel like having to leave the fights all the time. I really don't. But guys, regardless of which, I'm glad you decided to watch this video, and I am glad that you decided to stop through on my channel. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, do whatever it is at the end of these videos that you do. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Peace.